The Arizona State campus electric in anticipation of seeing the number one team in college basketball, 10-0 Kansas, taking on 18th ranked Arizona State. You're watching the Pac-12 on ESPN. It's KU's first true road game. The program has been spectacular as the top ranked team away from Lawrence historically. Meanwhile, ASU has beaten only one number one team. That was Oregon State back in 1981. And with Hall of Famer Bill Walton, I'm Dave Pash. Bill, many times you played as a number one team. On the road, out of conference, how challenging is it? You love it. That's what you live for, and we are here tonight. Learn to love the pressure and the responsibility that comes with being the best. We've got a terrific game. The world is here. The toughest ticket ever in the history of ASU basketball, and we've got some real players. We've got Lou Dort, just a freshman for Bobby Hurley and the Arizona State Sun Devils. And then on the left, Diedrich Lawson, a transfer from Memphis, a beautiful player, smooth, creative, imaginative, fluid. These guys will go head to head. They fill it up offensively. This game is going to be about whether Arizona State can raise the level of their game and be able to learn to anticipate that pressure. We know that Kansas can play as the guys at the top of the mountain, the place to be. And the starters for Kansas, Devon Donson, Quentin Grimes, a freshman, who's been up and down with Gerald Vick, outstanding three-point shooter, Lawson and Garrett. And here is Vick. He'll try a three, and he's shooting 55% from out there. Poise, confidence, competitive greatness. Open up with a dagger three and make them play your game. Push these rabid fans here in Wells Fargo Arena back in their seats. There are 3,000 Kansas fans who have bought tickets and come from around the world. Here's Dort with the pull-up. Off the heel and rebounded by Garrett. Totally different team for Bobby Hurley this year. Last year it was guard you. Beautiful start. That's Dotson at 6-0. Jayhawks on a pair of three. Now, where's the response going to be from the Sun Devils? Walking the ball up the court. Supremely conditioned, these Kansas Jayhawks. One of the great programs in the history of basketball. Second winningest team of all time in college basketball. Remy Martin no good. And it's rebounded by Lawson, the top rebounder in the Big 12. And look at Kansas push the tempo. Another three-point shot. This time Grimes can't get it. Or trying to drive the baseline. Vic cut it off. Kansas's defense is just superb. Lawrence puts it in. Finishing through contact for the first points for ASU. Kamani Lawrence injured last year with a stress fracture. Missed the game back in Lawrence. Rebounding will be key. Arizona State has a 10-plus rebound average per game. The number one team in the country, the Kansas Jayhawks at 10-0, facing 18th-ranked Arizona State at a sold-out Wells Fargo Arena, the toughest ticket in town in many years on the ASU campus. And Kansas off to a great start offensively, two three-pointers, and now Lawson with a bucket and a foul. The Jayhawks historically outstanding on the road as a number one team. And meanwhile, ASU, only one win lifetime against the top-ranked team, and that was back in 1981 on the road at Oregon State. With Hall of Famer Bill Walton, I'm Dave Pash. Bill, you know how challenging it is to play as a number one team on the road. The Jayhawks don't look phased at all by the scene. It's the dream. These guys play huge games. The Big 12 is basically the ESPN network. I mean, that's what they're on every single night. Every game they play is sold out. The crowd here is ready. The question is, will this team for Arizona State and Bobby Hurley, will they be able to respond to the pressure and learn to love it? There's no place better to be than on top. The Jayhawks have proved they belong here. The dream is coming true, though, for these Arizona State Sun Devils under Bobby Hurley in his fourth year. Remarkable player personality and driving leader. So the first true road game for the Kansas Jayhawks this year is Quentin Grimes drives, can't finish. The Jacks have had some big wins on the neutral courts. Send it back. White with the block with Darius Lawson, who's one of the best rebounders in the country. When Romello White gets that block, you've got to get Kamani Lawrence. You've got to get 
Z Cheatham in there to get that loose ball, please. Here's Cheatham, transfer from San Diego State, driving. And a foul is called on Diedrich Lawrence. They'd love to get him in foul trouble and get him on the Kansas bench. First foul on Lawson, who's averaging a double-double. And Bill Self says the best passer he's ever had. And then he got Lou Dort for Arizona State. Not a guy that was on the radar for a lot of people coming into college basketball this year, but he's been tremendous. One of the Canadian guys that have come in and dominated so much of college basketball and transitioning that to the NBA as well. Canada, the second largest producer of international players to the professional league, the NBA, the United States being first. Canada has 11, Australia has nine, France has nine, and from Montreal, Lou Dort. What a force and what a physical specimen. He started playing basketball late. He was a soccer player early. At age 15, he hit the weight room, and he's never looked back on his way to an incredible life and future in the great game of basketball. Kansas' ball movement, their ability to do what they want, they epitomize defining the terms of the conflict. Whoa, Remy. Way off on the three was Martin Dort. Try to save it was out of bounds. It looks like Arizona State, to your point about Kansas's ball movement, Bill, it looks like ASU's in a rush, or Kansas just K moving it very crisp basketball right now. Kansas is superb in everything. Their whole program, you can just feel it when they're around. Bill Self, one of six active coaches at the collegiate level who are already in the Hall of Fame, and the rest of them are all household names, from Coach K to Roy Williams, Tom Izzo, Jim Beheim. Grimes drives the paint. They're hoping his confidence improves because he got off to a great start, has slowed down, outstanding freshman. He played for Bill Self on Team USA, won the gold medal last June in the under-18 squad, won the MVP there. And his confidence has waned. They're hoping he gets it back before conference play begins. Kansas does have a week off after this game tonight. Cheat him with a kick out. Edwards drives, tough shot. And a foul on oh. Grimes. Quentin Great. Grimes will be fine. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by NHTSA. Drive sober or get pulled over. Well, the fans here in Tempe have been camping out for over a day. Bobby Hurley said, hey, work for us at Duke. Might as well try it here. He went out and bought, him pizza and bought them all pizza here. But these two teams met in Lawrence a year ago. I was privileged to be there. Kansas was spectacular, jumping out to a 15-2 lead. And then it was all Arizona State Sun Devils as three guards, Shannon Evans, Trey Holder, and little Remy Martin, they all played like Allen Iverson. It was one of the most remarkable games I've ever been a part of. It's a 25-point swing. Arizona State won by 10. They would have won by 30 if the game had kept going a little bit longer. Trey Holder is here tonight. He's on break from playing professionally over in Italy, where his coach in the city of Turin is Larry Brown, the Hall of Famer. Granted, Trey, earlier tonight, I was just glowing about the performance he put on last year. And, and as you like to say, Bill, it all rolls into one. With it does. Uh, Larry Brown, Bill Self got his start as Remy Martin hits a three. Bill Self got his start under Larry Brown as a GA. He was roommates with R.C. Buford in Lawrence when Larry Brown was the coach there in 1986. Those guys have all done pretty well. Surprised that R.C. Buford's not already in the Hall of Fame. How old is he now? Well, Bill Self is in his late 50s, so RC's up there. Pop came the year after Self left to that Kansas staff as well. As, but Gerald Vick misses inside, and Remy Martin has it for ASU. And a traveling violation as Edwards tried to step into that three, so a turnover by the Devils. Kansas is such a great team, and Bill Self constantly reminds the guys of the importance of a quick start. The two three-pointers that got him going early, their ability to get the key guys involved. Diedrich Lawson. This is a guy who has to have that ball. You know, he's one of those guys you can run everything through. And then you've got the guards out in front. With Gerald Vick, who was supposed to be the big star this year until they realized how great Diedrich Lawson is. And then Dotson. Devon Dotson. 
Quentin Grimes. They're, they got a ton of players here. And here's David McCormick, another McDonald's All-American. The three won't go. Cheatham up high, couldn't get the rebound. McCormick tracks it down, yeah. attacks, and finishes. He's a guy that lost 50 pounds in high school, and he did it all on his own. He came up with his own regimen on how to lose the weight, and he would penalize himself. He would come up with new ways to punish himself if he ate something that wasn't in his diet. Discipline yourself so that others won't have to. Whoa. Cheetah missed it, rebounded by Dotson. Dotson, love the way he just pushes this ball. Get to the free throw line and look to pass it. Tempo. Wow. That's beautiful basketball. Vic is such a great shooter. He was 8 for 8 in a game. He's hit 7 threes in two other games. He's already got two tonight. Sadly, he cut his hair from last year. And he gets a steal. In another 30 years, he won't have to do that anymore. Rebounded by Tayshawn Cherry. ASU looking to run. Here's Martin. And a foul is called on Devon Dotson. That's his first. And the third on the Jayhawks. Penetration and dish. Take the ball, get it to the foul line. Keep going, find one dribble, and then just find your spot up guy. Championship style. Determine, define the keys of the game and the conflict. Dotson from Charlotte. Can't believe that the state of North Carolina with all those schools <laughs> let him go. Well, Bill Self is such a great recruiter, done an incredible job getting players from all over the place to come to the Jayhawks, including a pair of transfers, Diedrich Lawson and KJ Lawson. They're so I Memphis. called up Chris Dyson, the great SID for Kansas, a couple weeks ago to get ready for this game. And that was I your 90-minute conversation with him right. you normally have with right. the SID, right? And so I called him up and I said, man, you guys must be really hurting you. Final four last year, but you lost all your guys, Steve, Malik Anderson, all these guys. And he said, Bill, don't worry about us at all. We got three transfers who are now eligible, three new high school All Americans. We got Bill Self, and we got the Kansas Legacy, and we got the Jayhawk home court advantage. We'll be fine. Rock shock, Jayhawk. Cheatham with a block. Now Tayshawn Cherry on the other end. No good on the three. Push the ball, Charlie Moore. Good defense again by Arizona State. And here's more, the Cal transfer off target. Look at Lightfoot who went to high school here in Arizona. And Gilbert, he couldn't finish that. And the Sun Devils back the other way. Kansas is quicker, appears much more confident, more skilled, deeper, and more focused and determined. Foul on McCormick. Other than that, everything's fine for the Sun Devils. <laughs> but based on how the rest of the Pac-12 has looked, Arizona State's carrying the torch for the program right now. Arizona State's doing fantastic. The dream is coming true. When you look around here, biggest crowd here. This place is sold out. There is not a seat to be had. What Michael Crow, what Ray Anderson, what Dave Cohen, what Bobby Hurley are doing here is just spectacular. But when you get these moments, you have to capitalize and you have to play well. well that's funny you say that because and that's why when Bobby Hurley is training these guys every day, you got to train them to be the champion, to think like a champion, act like a champion, and ultimately they have to play like a champion. Well, Hurley said today, look, I, I feel the pressure because the conference hasn't been great, and our best win is at Georgia. They lost at Vanderbilt. That you wonder how, you know, how many teams from the Pac-12 are going to get in. And there's a lot of pressure to win a game like this because it doesn't just help your team. It helps the entire league. Pressure is good. Learn to love it. Learn to want it. McCormick couldn't handle that pass at a turnover. Here's Dort coming off the bench, getting a little bit of a rest. Out of control right now is Dort. This guy McCormick looks awesome. Moore, and the tip in by McCormick. Sun Devils are getting run out of their own building. It's 20 to 12. <laughs> yeah, but this crowd, you want this crowd to be lathered up. Every single one of them sitting down here. And it's early. But your best guys have to play well. And right now, Cheatham has not done much. Dort has not done much. Who's going to be able to take over the game? Beautiful Maybe it's Tayshawn Cherry. Freshman from San Diego. Makes it a five-point game. El Cajon, please. Which is a suburb of San Diego. Played for... T.J. Leaf's dad, Brad Foothill Christian, in San Eastern San Diego. 
Now the crowd on its feet. Drives on the drive. Beautiful play. Great finish, spinning it off the window. Chris Dyson was right. These guys will be fine. This is the first time I've seen Dotson, Grimes, Garrett, McCormick, Lightfoot, Lawson. First time I've seen them play, they're fantastic. They're better than last year. Lightfoot commits a foul on the drive by Cheatham. And that game last year in the Elite Eight in Omaha, when they took down Duke, that was a fantastic game, one of the great games in the history of college basketball. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. These guys have come to play. Ranked team in the country, Kansas trying to get to 11 and 0, and Dietrich Lawson off to a good start. Bill five points, two rebounds. A good look there at Curtis Townsend, top assistant coach to Bill Self, older brother of Raymond Townsend. But the sleepy smooth moves of Dietrich Lawson reminds me a lot of Butterbean Love and Chet Walker, a guy who's not relying on overwhelming physical superiority, but a game of timing mental acuity, emotional commitment, and skill that goes all the way back to his childhood where he grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. South Memphis, they were all telling me today. K.J. Lawson is the oldest of the three guys from Memphis. And then there's LeGerald Vick, and then there's Diedrich Lawson. They went to different high schools. The Lawsons went to Hamilton. LeGerald went to Douglas. They played all the time. The Lawsons had the better team and more players. Out of bounds, it's going to stay Arizona State basketball. But but Todd Day's dad, Ted, he coached LeGerald Vick his entire life from middle school. That's one of the reasons he's a great player. And all young players need to find the best coach they possibly can. Bill, you were always known as a, as a great passer for a big. And you talked about Bill Self saying that Diedrich Lawson at 6'9 is the best passer he's ever had. So as Dort gets his first bucket, what's the key to being a, a big and a great passer? to be a, a scorer first. You're never going to be a good passer if you come out thinking pass. The pass comes when the defense stops your offensive attack. Over the top! Oh my gosh, beautiful creativity by the Jayhawks. Grimes but couldn't make it though. Dort? Great hands. hands, McCormick. What a player, what a prospect. Charlie Moore! The Sun Devils are not running back on defense. They are just conceding the offensive Fast break to the Jayhawks. That will not get it done. Second foul on McCormick. Bobby Hurley talking it out with Jerry Pollard, the crew chief. The parting of the Red Sea. <laughs> Maybe that'll get him going, Bill. It's his first bucket of the night. He looked like well, he was rushing a little bit early. Arizona State is not playing well at all, and they're just down five. The crowd will never let the home team down, but you got to give them something you have to feed them And then once you feed them you just keep driving and make the other team quick make the other team wilt under this relentless pressure that you bring and the fans will support Great defense there Not an over and back violation. It was deflected by Garrett Here's Dort trying to shake Vic the three Dort splashes it through Lou Dort, English is his third language after French and Creole. English is my fifth language. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. I don't know what your first is. Driving a foul as Lake tried to challenge Devon Dotson. That is his first and just the second foul in Arizona Stick. Well, next Saturday, a good college basketball for you with North Carolina in Chapel Hill at noon, taking on Davidson. Then it's Kentucky and Louisville. Oh. Kentucky and North Carolina played today, and Kentucky won behind Reed Travis's 20 points, the former Stanford Cardinal. Reed Travis, fantastic, and what a choice for him to go be a part of something so special. They, the Sun Devils, they're clawing back. If they can just start capitalizing on Lou Dort, if they can just get... Z Cheatham going. If they can get Romello White to make some defensive plays or grab a, a rebound or two. What's the rebound battle so far? I mean, it, it has to be edge just from watching. It has to be edge early on to Kansas. 
Well, you said two minutes ago that uh, they were getting blown out of the gym. You change your tune quickly. Maybe that's your well, first language. Look, nothing changes until something moves. Terry's three. It's good. His second three. It's a one-point game. And right now, it's the Sun Devils who are sticking a fork in it. What a crowd here. Rising is one. Great quick ball movement by the Jayhawks. Lawson. Beautiful touch. It's not how high you jump. It's where you are and when you jump. He just teased him, got him on the move, froze him, and then just elevated just ever so slightly. A lot like Nikola Jokic. What I a I like player. that comparison. What a passer. Yeah. What a mind. That's like Bob Dylan writing a song. That's like Jerry Garcia creating a new lick. Beautiful. Lawrence way off, though. But that's and the kind of shots they need. Oh, Cherry called for the foul. Didn't like it. Neither did Bobby Hurley. That is the first on Cherry. How about the great schedule, though, that Bill Self plays? Michigan State, Villanova, Stanford, ASU, Tennessee, Marquette. And then they got the Big 12 with all those incredible teams. Texas Tech, a real program now. Oklahoma, Lon Kruger. Iowa State, Steve Prohm, that guy can coach. Why the shot at Texas Tech? They, they've been, well, they've had some good years. Oh, wait a second. Okay. How, about, how about Kansas? 14 straight Big 12 regular season titles. Set the record. Ever. Breaking UCLA, which you were obviously a part of, as uh, Lawson finishes inside. The Bruins had won 13 straight from 67 to 79. Hey, Bill Self's record speaks for itself. <laughs> this guy, he is a Hall of Fame coach, and you just see the, the, the energy that surrounds him wherever he goes. I mean, that's what you're looking for in a leader. Remy Martin, wow, tough shot there. He thought he was fouled. But Gerald Vick, wow, that guy can really play. And his ability to get whatever he wants, rebound, steals, passes, jumpers, threes, creativity. Garrett misses on the attack, and now Remy Martin bringing it back up the court. And a tough pass to handle. Arizona State just out of control. Offensively right now, but the Sun Arizona, Devils within five. Arizona State has clawed back in here, but every time they try to take the lead, it's carelessness. But with Taysan Cherry stroking threes, the Sun Devils need a lot more of that. Twenty-eight, twenty-three. The top-ranked team in the country, Kansas, trying to get to eleven and zero for the first time since 2010-11, when it started eighteen and zero. The Jayhawks have hit three three-pointers already. Arizona State has knocked down four. Yeah, but Kansas is still missing the Yudoka Azubuki, who is a tremendous player in force and will completely change everything. And then we're still sitting here in limbo on Silvio De Sosa. So, this team is far from complete, but still in dominant control here tonight. Azubuki missing his fourth straight game. They hope to get him back after the new year. Lawson Look nicely done inside again in the paint. It was Azubuki who worked out. They were going to give it a shot if he looked better in shooter on, but he didn't. So they're going to play it safe with him. Fortunately for the Jayhawks, they've got Andrea Hootie as their strength and conditioning coach. Just one of the greatest at her profession as anyone who has ever held that title. And what Andrea has done over the course of her brilliant career, starting at UConn with Ray Allen and all the guys, and then coming down here, congratulations, Andrea, and thank you for what you do. You look at these guys. I mean, they are fit as can be. And to see Udoko over there just desperately trying to play, but he's got a badly sprained ankle. You can see when he walks yeah. that he's just not healthy. And they're smart enough to know that it's a big picture, not only for the team, but for him as well. That guy is a force. He's from Nigeria, junior. He didn't start playing basketball until he was 13 years old. Kansas, you talked about the guys they lost. Devontae Graham, Svee Mikhailuk, Malik Newman, but they just reload with... Uh, this has been one of their better three-point shooting games to start. They've been kind of up and down. And actually, for whatever reason, when Azubuki was playing, they were shooting it better from the outside, even though he's not a guy that spreads the floor. That's not true at all. He creates the opening. Because when he's in there, the other team has got to guard him. And that creates the wide-open shots on the perimeter. Dork driving and throws it away. Dotson going one-on-one -on -one against Cheatham. Beautiful. Gets the bucket. I was at the hotel today with Dotson. I just, you know, these guys, 
He looks like he's 15 years old. Well, but, Bill, you're 66. But, all these guys look young. Everybody under 65 looks young to me. <laughs> so, to your point, though, I mean, do you think the guys with Kareem or Wilt or Shaq or Akeem were better shooters because of their presence on the court? So why in the NBA do we barely see guys like that anymore? All the bigs are guys that can spread the floor and shoot the ball. It's a different world. It's a different game. It's a different league. It's a different culture. Beautiful. Spin and finish by Diedrich Lawson to push the lead to 10. Timeout, Bobby Hurley. And these Jayhawk fans have come alive here. Look like signs of life from the wild, from the Sun Devils, but Rock now, now it's Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Spin, Earl Monroe, lay it off the glass, too. UFC fans, this is the moment you truly all been waiting for. Hall of Famer Bill Walton, Dave Passion, Tempe. Kansas has, open, has opened up a 10-point lead, outscoring Arizona State 22-6 in the paint. Dotson. Mary gets it rejected. Uh, Remy oh. Martin does by Dotson. And now a jump ball is called as White is blocked by Lawson. On the possession error, it will go to the Sun Devil. What is the record for the most blocked shots on the same possession? This is a roof. Probably this not This is two. just Dotson. Right there. Well, I remember when Charles Smith for the Knicks blocked his own shot five times <laughs> with the championship on the line. Dort deep three. Just not mid. close. Come on, Romello. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Jayhawks are in the bonus. 18 foul now. KJ Lawson picked up the foul. Romello White has completely rebuilt his own body, due in large part to the great work of. Daniel Marshall. Arizona State, they went out and they hired for the first time basketball only strength and conditioning coach. Coming up on Christmas Day, we've got five games for you on ESPN and ABC. Former Sun Devil James Harden will be home to take on Russell Westbrook and the Thunder. The game starts with Giannis at the Garden, also on ABC. Sixers, Bucks, Luke Walton and the Lakers. Taking on <laughs> the Warriors on ABC and ESPN. Okay. LeBron versus KD. I, I think LeBron's got something to do with it. I don't want a player. Oh my gosh. The Lakers are in third or fourth place. Yeah, they're in Over fourth. the top. By the way, why did you tell Luke last night to ask me what my name was? He, he what said. What is your name anyway? <laughs> Where have he, you been? He said he couldn't do it. He didn't have the heart. At least somebody in the Walton family has a heart. I'm a proud dad. And I'm a very lucky dad. And Lori and I and Mickey Hart and Carol Hart will be lucky enough to be at that game on Tuesday in Oakland at the Oracle. Let it fly, Remy. Whoa. Oh, good. Long rebound, though, for Lawrence, who hangs, can't finish. Neither can White. Look at the way that he handles the ball, Diedrich Lawson. Ooh, Dotson slips. Awkward landing. Traveling violation. And I had the pr privilege of talking to Devon Dotson today at practice. Yeah. The similarities to Frank Mason keep coming up. Frank Mason, the college player of the year a few years ago, who's now doing very well with Sacramento. Sacramento's above 500. And, but this guy, Dotson, he loved Derrick Rose when Derrick Rose was on top of the world, when he was growing up, when Dotson was. Now he's just idolizes Russell Westbrook. Two very good choices for heroes and role models. Cheatham knocks down the jumper. It is good to see the way Derrick Rose is playing. He's back happy, healthy. Happy. And yeah, it's, it's, it's all great. about health, and that's yep. why you don't go, you know, has to take his time and and just get all the way better. No matter how good you are or were, if you can't run and jump, this guy's putting oh, on a clinic. Banking it in, Diedrich Lawson, who has 15 points in the first half. He averages 20 per game, second in the Big 12. He's playing a lot like Kevin Durant plays. You know, just putting the ball in somebody's face time and time again. Great rotating defense. Rob Edwards, don't jump to pass. Open look, can't knock it down, bat it out, but it's Kansas ball. Dotson and Diedrich Lawson have been the best players in this game. Look at Lawson, stroke it from deep, just his fourth made three of the year. He's at 18 first half points. 
And the beautiful thing about Kansas is that they're such a team and they're so committed that none of these guys sit around and hang their heads when somebody else is hot. They're happy for them. They're just leaving Cheatham wide open. Yeah, he hesitated there. Z is a brilliant person. He's the smartest guy on the team, real high basketball IQ. Bobby Hurley telling us that when he went to recruit him, Bobby didn't have to ask a single question. Z just talked the whole time. And Cheatham with the drive. It rolls off the rim, but it'll go to the line when we come back. Diedrich Lawson just taking over here in every aspect. The ability to score, that's what sets everything up. The footwork, the balance, the spin, we're seeing it all. Earl Monroe, Kevin Durant, Bob Love, Chet Walker. Wow. The desert sky in Arizona. The sixth largest state by area. And the ability to create shots. It, and make them at the same time. And, and then this guy is just one of those special gems that somehow got away from the city of Memphis. Well, he was there. He just transferred. Right. <laughs> so he got away Penny from the Hardy school. Penny Hardaway never would have let that happen. Uh, by the way, he's got as many baskets as Arizona State does as a team, each with eight here in the first half. So as Bobby Hurley has rebuilt this team around physical, big, powerful guys up front, they have been able to have this good start relatively because they've been out rebounding their opponents but in this game tonight Kansas they've got a plus two rebounding edge and Arizona State they they average 10 plus more rebounds per game than their opponents I'll send to you throwing some stats out there that's all I do memorize stats the, the two stats I do look at rebounds and field goal percentage when you see when you say look at you mean like after the game <laughs> or is it because you don't well, take the score sheet when, when it's handed to you I'm watching the game please <laughs> I don't need numbers to tell me who's playing well traveling Deeper. violation and then Deeper Jerry Pollard has to get in well. front of Remy Martin and Devon Dotson Dotson thought he was foul <laughs> so did Bill Self let's see if there's contact it's enough. They call that traveling. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's what's called playing on the road. Inside but three minutes to go in the half. Remy Martin, who has not had the game we've come to expect in these big moments here, he's playing on a very bad ankle. Turned it about two and a half months ago, just before media day up in San Francisco. Traveling violation again. And that's what's called a, a mascara call. Which is? The makeup. Kansas 33 and 10 all time when ranked number one on the road. Bobby Hurley <laughs> played in 45 games as a number one ranked team at Duke. He was 42 and three as a player. Four games against number one teams. He was two and two. One of those against UNLV back when that uh, great UNLV team was unbeaten. And Grant that Hill and Bobby Hurley knocked them off. Went on to win the championship. Grant is here tonight. They are still great friends. Jason Kidd's here tonight. In fact. Remember Jake Kidd and Grant Hill? They were co-rookies of the year in the NBA right. in 1995. And I'm old enough to remember that Jason Kidd and his Cal Bears beat Duke yes. in Jason Kidd's second and final year in college basketball. Cal Berkeley standing tall. Pac-12 Conference of Champions. Blocking foul is called here in light, but that's his second. They're in the double bonus, so Dort will go to the line. I actually get Dotson, but it's his second anyway, and so free throws for Lou Dort. You got to spend some time today with, with Lou Dort, Bill. What, it was super fun. 19 years old, is from Montreal. His parents are from Haiti. Lou Dort is the fifth of six children, three boys, three girls, and the children range in age from 29 to 17. Growing up there in the beautiful city of Montreal, French-speaking Montreal. His dad was a soccer player. Not professionally and recreationally when they're growing up. La France. His mom, Erline, was a tennis player casually and socially. So he grew up in a, in a sports background. But he was a goalie in soccer. Today he loves video games and Netflix. He was heavily influenced, Lou Dort was, by Roy Rana, the junior national coach up in Canada, who's coached every single Canadian guy coming up. You don't have to give, like, the whole bio. Save some of Why it for not? Walton's World because we do have that segment coming up. 
two different prep schools in Florida trying to get used to the American culture Jacksonville and Miami that was a hint he should have tried he should have tried to come to California <laughs> and see the real United States it's a 10 point game Kansas in front inside two minutes to go in the first half Kansas is so well schooled and skilled they know who to back off of Door with a no look pass here's a pull up jumper that rattles yeah. around and down for Rob Edwards this is a big time player a lot of facial resemblance to Russell Westbrook great body Rob Edwards Vic can't get the three long rebound Dort looking to push pace nice Drives. and nice job by Vic reaching in but not fouling it'll stay with the Sun Devils defend without fouling the core of your defensive strategy these guys from Kansas they do not make mental mistakes and their schedule puts them in these positions every single game this is just like any other game for them they know they've got to take the crowd out of it if they play every possession like it matters great Dort. defense and a rebound bodies hit the floor Kansas with numbers with Dort still on the ground Vic look at the change of pace and change of direction KJ Lawson wide open not close what a pass <laughs> Diedrich has got to anticipate and get in front of that guy, please. Anticipate a bad shot? Yes. He said it was a pass. Here's Terry for three. No good. You can call it whatever you want. I'm sitting here watching. That ball was right to Diedrich. Lawson with 18 points. Time Seven out. Seven rebounds. Time Bill, out on the floor. Bill Self just in complete control here. Hall of Famer. Four second difference between the game and shot clocks here at the end of the first half. Dietrich Lawson, just phenomenal junior from Memphis. The ability to spin. I mean, that's Earl Monroe. The ability to come. That's Akeem Olajuwon right there. That's Kevin Durant. This guy has got it all. And one of the great things about the Kansas players, is there's not a whole lot of self-aggrandizement out there when they're making plays they're here to win this game and their hotel is just swarming with Kansas Jayhawk fans and they got their buses here and this is a fabulous culture and it's a tremendous tribute to what can be done with college athletics and what everybody else around the land is trying to emulate their number one and next Saturday at 1.30 Eastern Time on ESPN Plus, Kansas will take on Eastern Michigan. Start your free trial today by downloading the ESPN app or visiting ESPNPlus.com. It's the getaway game for the Jayhawks. A lot of the players will get to go home and see their families for the holiday, then come back to Lawrence for that game a week from today. Getaway game. It sounds like you're in the NBA. That's what they called it. That was uh, the wording that they used today, so really? you can get mad at them. Really? Well... I guess that's one of the differences between Lawrence and San Diego. Vic. Beautiful ball movement. The extra pass. Grimes can't pay it off. Arizona State's got time. Cheatham had a little trouble with it. Two seconds to go. Cheatham going to take it all the way to the basket. Oh. Lost the ball, and that's the end of the half. Pass the ball, please. Kansas leads by eight despite Arizona State shooting under 30 percent. They're in the game. Each trade halftime report. Sun Devils very fortunate to be this close. And welcome back to the beautiful state of Arizona. Horseshoe Bend, the Colorado River. Let's go. Time to run the river. And a lot, a lot of, of guys big names in the house here. here. Eddie House, all-time leading scorer at Arizona State. 61 points in the game at Cal. Jason Kidd was not in that game. Hall of Famer Jason Kidd, Grand Hill Hall of Famer, Vinny Del Negro Hall of Fame of Life, and then Michael Phelps. Wow, that guy can swim. Most decorated Olympian ever. 23-time gold medalist. And 28 total medals for Michael Phelps, who has often been behind the curtain of distraction. We'll see what we get from the curtain here with Kansas shooting free throws that way in the I'm second. I'm not into walls, okay? I'm into bridges. In the first half, Diedrich Lawson was wow. the story. For I'm Kansas. into him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into creativity. I'm into imagination. And I'm into skill. Because this guy put on a clinic from the outset. Yes, 
it was LeGerald Vick who made the opening three. But the ability to anticipate what's going to happen next, the ability to keep your balance so that you can get to what's next first, and then the touch and the skill to finesse use the board, Tim Duncan. Spot up threes, no over dribbling, no self-promotion. This guy has come to play, he's come to win, and he has set a standard that nobody else has been able to match tonight. The player of the game in the first half, but we've got 20 minutes to go of great action. Well, the fact that Arizona State had only one more basket as a team than Lawson did by himself, the Sun Devils shot 29% from the floor, yet they're only down eight. As the second half is underway here at a packed house, they go to Lawson on the first play, and he scores. That's coaching. That's leadership. You got a hot hand, we're going to milk him. And we're going to make the other team stop us. And the Sun Devils have shown no ability to do that. But I'm not sure who could stop him at the collegiate level. Meanwhile, the guy that Arizona State needs to get going as White is fouled is Lou Dort, who was held to seven points and two of eight shooting. He's a freshman, please. They got a lot of guys. Yeah, Z but Cheatham. he's their key guy. He's so 20 how, points per game. Six how, did, how did Z Cheatham do in the first half? How did Romello White do? Those guys have been here. White had four points. Cheatham had four points. How did Daquan Lake do? Now, Daquan Lake had two points, but when you shoot 29 how did Remy Martin do? you're getting dominated in the paint. Okay, so don't just put it on Lou Dort. No, I just he, said he was their best player, up, though. He was their best player, and you're, and you're criticizing him. Please. All right, I'm moving team. on. Please. I, I, where are you going? Are you going to Horseshoe Bend? Try to find some luck? Please. Nine-point game. Look what? at the way Dotson pulls the ball back out. Doesn't have his own play. They always keep moving. Nobody's trying to create off their own dribble for themselves. This is just beautiful basketball. Triple team. And out of bounds. That was well defended by Arizona State. Lawson so good when he gets the ball down there. Always seems to make the right decision. It was last touched by Arizona State. Now as Marquise Pettigrew, the official, changed the call. I had a great conversation with Bobby Hurley at practice today. One of my favorite all-time players and people. And he talked about how for the first time as a coach here at ASU, he's had to talk about rebounding because in the years past, it was all just guards having to be hot. And he said when he played college basketball, he didn't have to worry about any rebounds because he had Christian Leitner on his team who got them all. Vic doesn't get the three. By the way, next time we're at an Arizona State shoot-around, why don't you let Coach Hurley actually run the shoot-around? He kept going out there as he's trying to coach, and he would stop because he respects you, and he'd go over and talk to you while... I was trying he... to find out something. <laughs> no, but they're running practice. Well, <laughs> let him <laughs> let do his job. I liked Kansas's practice where they actually shot all day. Here's a three from Grimes. No good. And we got it by Cheatham. And when they did talk about the other team, as brief as it was, he had his key player sit down to watch. Lawrence hits a three. There's some basketball right now. And these students who have been lined up outside for days to get in here tonight. Do you like pizza? Did you get any of the pizza that Bobby Hurley gave them? Lay out, Bill. Why? I'm not sure you even like your job. Here's Lawson. Sweet move again on the low block by Diedrich Lawson. He's got 22 points. I love my job. I get to work with Luke Walton's dad. And nothing could be a greater honor than to be recognized as that. Here's Dort to the rim. He couldn't finish. Offensive rebound by White. Rhythm dribble. Powers it up and in. And a foul. Romello White. Strength, power, determination, concentration. Bill Self says, I've seen enough. I'm coming with Lightfoot. I'd come with McCormick. That guy looked unstoppable. Lawson picks up the foul, his second. Grimes to the bench, and it's Lightfoot that checks in. But the patience of a great coach and the understanding that it's the long game and the big picture. Wow. Arizona State just hasn't played well enough to win, and they haven't been able to take this guy, Devon Dotson, out of the game at all. And not a smart foul there by Remy Martin. 40 feet away from the basket is first, and the first team foul in ASU. 
Excellent be. Excellent refereeing squad tonight. Kip, Jerry, and what's the third guy's name? Mar Marquise. Thanks. Marquise. So that inbound play, just all the little simple things. Dotson on the move, immediately on the handoff by the referee. First fourth shot of the night by Kansas. That was Vic. I don't know if it was their first, but no look pass to White on the drive. He could not finish. Push the ball. Versatility, Marcus Garrett. And LeGerald Vic, who went to the NBA, was oh, going to go, man. worked out for a bunch of teams, and ended up coming back to Kansas. Vic is one of the best shooters in the country, shooting over 50% from three. And he had six quick points in this game, but has been quiet since the opening minutes offensively. Please. He hasn't had to do that. He's been focusing on the other things because Diedrich Lawson has just been unstoppable. I don't believe you've ever been part of a team, have you? But they could use the shooting, Bill. They only got four threes, and most of those came at the start of the game, and Vic misses again. They're not getting second-chance opportunity. They're winning the game, please. Yeah, but it's down to six. They're up double figures for most of the first half. Here's Remy Martin trying to shake the Dotson. If you were Bill Self, would you feel threatened? By Arizona State? By anything. It's a six-point game. You're on the road. A lot of these guys haven't played in this environment before. It's their first true road game. What if the crowd gets going? Dort missed another layup. The tap won't go, but a foul. And if that's lost, and that's number three, that's their biggest concern. It is on Diedrich Lawson. What does Bill Self do at the 16:38 mark? That's what he's going to do. Yep. I'm surprised McCormick doesn't start. Well, that's because Lawson starts. You're not going to take him out. And then well, okay. you got Azubuki, who's injured. He'll start at the five when he comes back. They but go smaller, put Lawson at the five with the injury to Azubuki. You go with McCormick and Lawson together, that creates untenable matchups for the opposition. You can always get guards. You can always get little guys that run around. And now this now your leading scorer has to go out and now he's it's got some Vic time. Uh, he's just got some blood. That's that's why he's going out. Have to get that taken care of. They don't seem overly concerned. Oh, well, they're not going to run up and meet him at midcourt. I mean, they got to well, wait till he gets he, off the floor you, before you he act can. like he needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> you say he's got blood on his hand. You can't play that way. Another missed free throw that by Dequan Lake. You have blood on your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, the, promoting selfishness. No, stop. The last time Arizona State beat a number one team was the only time. Byron Scott, fat lever. What a team that was. Old Ned Lister. Wolf. Ned Wolf. Can't believe we haven't mentioned jumping Joe Caldwell, Lionel Hollins, James Harden, fat lever tonight. Now, Harden wasn't on that team. No, but he played here. That old. Poor Lionel. That was one of your teammates. Three-pointer off the mark by Garrett. Rebound, Cheatham. Arizona State down five, looking to push. Cheatham oh, tried to do it all himself. Ball. Almost coughed it up. Now Dort gives it up. Cheatham slams. Do you notice a correlation of momentum shifting when Diedrich Lawson goes to the bench? Arizona State has climbed back within three, trying to beat a number one team for the second time in school history. Their only win, March 7th, 1981. Arizona State was number five up in Corvallis as they knocked off Oregon State. Look at Byron Scott and the hair, 25 points. Fat Lever did it all back then. Off list of Paul Williams. Beautiful guards on that team. Following in the great tradition and legacy, those guys really shot the ball that night. And tonight, if the Sun Devils could finally make a play like this on consecutive possessions, they'd have a chance. Blue Dort, who's just been the best player so far, creating opportunities for his teammates which you seem to disdain here. And a turnover on, forced Dort. by Arizona State. A chance to tie here. Whoa. Short on the three was Just Lawrence. Missed. Look how hard this guy runs the floor. By the way, Arizona State has left some points on the court. They've missed eight free throws, 11 shots in the lane they've missed. There's Vic taking it inside. His first basket since early on. That whole play created by the 
burst of speed and energy of Quentin Grimes. That created the opportunity for LeGerald Vick to come back. Where's the offense going to come from? Lightfoot with the snatching rebound. Oh, oh Martin God. gets it back to Lake. Lightfoot blocks Whoa. it out of play. So with Lawson on the bench with three personal fouls, Lightfoot and McCormick filling in. We got another timeout on the floor. Showing how light a foot he is. Maybe he's related to Gordon. The creative hit, the creativity, the imagination. Great ball fake and feed. Wow, what a block. Send it back. always play a difficult schedule this year the second toughest in the nation they beat Michigan State Tennessee in overtime beat Stanford in overtime Villanova as well that game against Tennessee went to two overtimes they have six wins by single digits New Mexico State played them tough they won that game by three New Mexico State's good 68 weeks in which Kansas have been ranked number one in the country will they stay there Arizona State lost the game earlier this week at Vanderbilt they will stay there until they lose a game. And then the Duke will be right back up there. Duke Bobby the Early had to call time timeout. Leader. They couldn't get the ball in bounds. Only now, two left for Arizona State. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Have you ever been to this campus before? Have what I a spectacular place this is. What Michael yeah, Crow here. has been able to do here. Yeah, I live Mike, here, so I've been, Mike, I've been Tampa. Really? Tampa. You live here on the campus. <laughs> Tempe, named after the Valley of Tempe in Greece, which is a historically fantastic, beautiful place, important as can be in the trade routes in the early days. But what Michael Crow and Ray Anderson, Dave Cohen, and Bobby Hurley have been able to do here is just over the top. Michael Crow, the king of innovation, the king of thinking about the future. And one of the things that they're going to do here is they're going to get all these guys who don't finish college, and they're going to encourage them to come back because of the great online presence and get their degree from the new American University here. Plus, who wouldn't want to be in Phoenix? It was 75, degree here. 75 degrees here today. What was the temperature in Lawrence? Colder. There's Dort on the drive. Hit the side of the backboard. Dort just 2 of 11 from the floor. Dotson, second best player in the game today. This Grimes on the take, and he gets the bounce, the lead back to seven. The Jayhawks have never trailed in this game. Every time that we see signs of life from the Sun Devils, and this is a, a talent level differential, a skill level differential. An emotional and mental differential as well. Cheatham tripped up by K.J. Lawson. That's the fourth Kansas foul. It is 36 degrees, uh, Thank you. I'm told. I was concerned. Uh, I'm thinking about going Lawrence. there. It is a 55 right now. Right here now. It's Tempe. nighttime. <laughs> you ever been to the desert at night? It's fantastic. I live here. So did you, did you see the full moon last night? Oh, my gosh. In local news, Cheatham hits the free throw after Dotson commits his third foul, the 14th foul in Kansas. Arizona State has missed eight free throws in this game, three in the second half. The Sun Devils have already beaten Mississippi State. That was a good win. They knocked off Georgia on the road. That was a good victory. And obviously this would be not just the big win for them, but for the entire Pac-12, which has not looked good at all. Did you notice that the conjunction of the full moon and... The solstice yesterday. That doesn't happen all the time. Averages only every 19 years. I remember that if I'm ever on Jeopardy. Well, you know, I'm one Jeopardy. Yeah. A steal as Cherry steps in front of McCormick. Ahead to Edwards. Grimes, Vic, and Dotson have been superb in everything. And little Charlie Moore is digging that ball out as well. That was a terrible pass by Cheatham. And he had Romello White posting up. Look at that pass. That's a great pass. And terrific hands by LeGerald Vick. That was Quentin Grimes with the dish. Grimes preseason Big 12 freshman of the year. Had that great game to start the year against Michigan State with 21 points. You know his half-brother is an NHL player? No. Tyler Myers. So if Quentin Grimes goes on to play in the NBA, which he probably will, it'll be the first brother combination to play in the NHL and the NBA. It's Cheatham's score. Really? 
Say this again, please. Okay, so Quentin Grimes, half-brother Tyler Myers, who's 6'8". He plays for Winnipeg of the NHL. How about that block by Dort with two hands? Send it back, Lou. Cherry cleans it up. Scoop and score. Bobby Hurley calling the crowd down. What he really needs to do is get his guys to play more of a skilled game than an effort game. Effort is constant. Who can really play, though, when push comes to shove? How long do you keep Diedrich Lawson on the bench? Charlie Moore with a huge three from the corner. He had six threes in Kansas's last game. Transfer from Cal. What a gamble that was. Who would have ever thought? Charlie becoming a huge factor for Bill Self. Great pass. Pass of the night. White is fouled by K.J. Lawson. Defense leading to offense. Diedrich trying desperately to get back into this game. Just roofing. Volleyball block above the net rim. Wonderful recovery. Romello White, 68% free throw shooter as Lawson checks back in. To defend without fouling, that's Akeem Olajuwon. Block the shot, grab the rebound, drive it up. Throw it off to Clyde Drexler, who will finish strong. <laughs> you old enough to know Clyde Drexler and Akeem? Of course. Mm, of course. I thought we had this conversation last night. I wasn't with you last night. Last time. Five-point game. Twelve and a half to go. Okay, but who's going to be able to make the consistent great play for the Sun Devils when Kansas is dug in? More too short, and then Arizona State gets it right back. Carelessness just seemed to be in a hurry too often tonight. It's got to be tough, Bill. I mean, you've been in this situation as a former player where you got to. I mean, you guys were number one a lot, but when you have a chance to beat more than a lot, a great team, and you're a young player, and the crowd is so fired up. That's what you love, but you have to learn to make your crowd feed how great your body feels but you can never let that interrupt the mental calculations and discipline that you have to have to be the champion you think it's easy you sit here and you look at your stat sheet all the time please it's about making decisions Lawson they tried to flop and get the fourth foul on him and then cheat him looked like a good block but a foul is called from here on the first view it looks like an offensive foul on Diedrich Lawson early on Let's see, Bill. From the wing. He extended the arm a little bit. That angle wasn't great, though, to really give you a sense of whether he extended it enough to be called an offensive foul. Just let them both go. Let them play. Into the curtain but of distraction with the uh, Bobby Hurley fatheads. <laughs> they, the coaches, they quit talking bad about my friend Bobby Hurley. <laughs> he is not a fathead. He's a genius. Look, I'm not into walls. I'm into bridges. But the coaching staff, they warned the Kansas players. They said, just whatever you do, don't look. Just don't look <laughs> why not? to that. Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? You don't want to get <laughs> distracted. That's why it's called the curtain of distraction. Well, I never would have thought that. Okay, now let's go, Lou Dort. Let's get some creativity here. He's 2 nice. of 11 from the floor. Misses again. The tip won't go. Dort, another try. Sticks it back. That guy's got a future. Look how fast Dotson gets it down the court for then ASU back. I love the way that Dotson has played tonight. Pressure constantly, always looking for the next advantage. And this guy, Grind, man, what a player. Arizona State pushing tempo again. Here's Dort muscling his way in. Couldn't finish. And cleared by Lawson. Dotson and Grind are just freshmen. Remarkable the poise and confidence they're displaying here. Let it fly, Charlie, please. That's what you do. Great pass. Grimes leaves it nice. for Lawson, who kisses it off the window. Lawson with 26 points and 11 rebounds. This is a brilliant team. And you better have a game, and you better be in shape if you expect to beat these guys, the Jayhawks. Haven't seen much from Cheatham here. Finally, a layup. 
Haven't seen much from Rob Edwards. We can only hope his back is okay. Cheatham has 11 points and 11 rebounds. So I'd say he's yeah. had a pretty good night. There's White with the block. It's going to stay with Arizona State. They've been behind the entire game. Five-point game. Duke in front. Duke and when we come back, it's another edition of Walton's World. Bill finally putting his hard head to good use. Playing soccer with Lou Dorn. <laughs> Arizona State trailing number one Kansas by five. Freshman French speaking Lou Dort from Montreal, the subject of tonight's Walton's World. Wow. Hey, Lou. I'm Bill. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ligens. What's that? That was impressive. How long have you been doing that? Merci, Joe. J'ai commencé à jouer soccer quand j'étais jeune. Maintenant, je joue au basket. I thought you were a basketball player. Maintenant, je joue au basket, mais j'ai commencé avec le soccer. Kansas tonight. Ouais, ça va être, ça va être un bon, vraiment, vraiment bon match. They're really good. Ouais, c'est la première équipe dans, dans le pays, mais on a hâte de les jouer ce soir. I understand that you're really good. Je suis, je suis quand même bon, ouais. On va, je vais, je vais leur donner un bon match ce soir. My French is non-existent. I love French. Ben, je vais t'aider, je vais t'aider. Je suis là pour ça, je vais t'aider. Je vais t'apprendre un petit peu de français. You are quite the player. You are quite the personality. Can I try the, with the kick? Ben, vas-y, essaye, essaye, essaye. Okay. okay. So, I'll just go back and forth with you. <laughs> I used to play a lot of soccer in my 20s when my hands were broken and I couldn't use them. Dietrich Lawson misses a three. Dort played soccer. He was a goalie growing up. Right. But you talk about smart guys, and that is Lou Dort. And the decision he made to move from Montreal to here, Phoenix, yesterday on the solstice, he saved an hour and 14 minutes of his life with extra daylight. Chase that sun, good men through the ages, trying to find the sun. 12 degrees further south on the latitudinal scale. Did you know that he was trashing you in French? Was Dotson gets that one to drop? I told just now when you saw the subtitles. I can't read. Okay. He had nothing but nice things to say about you. His parents are from Haiti. They, they moved to Canada when they were 21 years old. He went to high school in Jacksonville. He's only been back to Haiti once. He wants to go back. He's very active on social media. Great pass down low to Kamani Lawrence. Best play of the night for Remy Martin, and they're going to need a lot more of that if the Sun Devils are going to have a chance. Yeah, think how good Martin was in their win in Lawrence last year. He had 21 points. The Kansas coaches said today he was the reason they won that game. We've got to stop him tonight. They had three guys that played like Allen Iverson at the same time. An opportunity for the Sun Devils, but Vic is just too good. The Jayhawks transition defense. Terry with the steal. Whoa, Long wild floater. shot. Wild shot. Yeah. Again, Arizona State just out <laughs> of control on. offensively. This is not a playground pickup game. You gotta settle Where, down. Where's Joe Caldwell and Lionel Hollins when you need them, please? I need Lionel right now. <laughs> I'm gonna see Lionel in Memphis on Martin Luther King Day. Garrett was fouled on the drive. That's the 14th foul on Arizona State. So life is about what's next. And when the Jayhawks do make a mistake when when they do miss a shot they don't hang their head they don't look at the refs they're up and down in transition they never get tired okay now that could be distracting Lori Walton on line one <laughs> one okay, more free throw from Marcus Garrett here. okay let's so I'm kind of I'm kind of into the walls if Roger Waters is involved. Oh, or maybe that. Lori Walton on line two. What's the moose doing there? Hi, Larry. I love you. I'll be home tomorrow. Turn the jacuzzi on, please. <laughs> Get the outdoor showers ready at the oh. Walton household. <laughs> well, never taken an indoor one at our home there for 39 years. Beautiful TMI. back cut and the basket. By Rob Edwards, back to a five-point game with eight and a half to play. Rob Edwards, a big-time scorer at Cleveland State before transferring down here with a chance to play for Bobby Hurley and the new American University. Dotson continues to impress in every aspect. Look at that post up. Oh, he's so smooth. Diedrich oh, Lawson, oh, just beautiful basketball on the low post. But the way he got the post position, the, the preparation before the play was even made, that's what enables it to work. 
He's got 28 and 12. Points and rebounds. He, he can play. Uh, well, this, this person I've ever seen him play, and the best I've ever seen him play. Is he the best player you've seen in person, or would that have to go to Barrett or Williamson at Duke as uh, Remy Martin hits that one? Well, they're all different players. You know, De Diedrich Lawson does not rely on athletic ability. I mean, Zion, that guy, is a meteor, a comet searing across the smoking crater. Tough pass there. But look how fast they get back. Tatum on the drive, scores and one. And this crowd is alive. They've got a chance. Bobby Hurley says, we're there, guys. Stick a fork in them. The beautiful scenery of the Grand Canyon State. This is Monument Valley, right on the border of the Valley of the Gods. There's only 18% of the land in the entire state of Arizona that is privately held. And there's nothing more valuable than public lands, America's best idea. And with the great idea of the back cut here, Newman right to the basket. Wow, excuse me, Edwards. And then the transition opportunities. Remy Martin, I'll have a double on that one. Freedom <laughs> has come alive here. Paint points in the paint here. Arizona finally being effective in the basket area. But give a lot of credit. It's to actually six, by the way. Uh, so in the first half, Diedrich Arizona Lawson State. missed a lot of time here in that second half. And so without him in the lineup, everything changes. We haven't seen much of McCormick here in the second half. Again, Kansas, look at that record on the road when ranked number one, 33 and 10. Arizona State has only beaten a number one team once, and that was on the road. They never knocked off one here in Tempe. Diedrich Lawson, what a star. Three Beautiful. is good for it. Dotson is a 41% shooter. It's a second triple. And with all the pro scouts here tonight, Ryan West from the Lakers, John Shoemate from the Suns, Keith Askins, yes, let's give a feature on him from the Miami Heat. Well, how about Grant Hill, part owner of the Atlanta Hawks? Here's yeah, a step back three from Edwards that's on the money. Edwards is alive. We haven't mentioned Jimmy Ian, Minnesota. Lawson, 12 of 15, a great passer in the high post. Beautiful. And he finds the open man, Garrett underneath, who's fouled. So free throws for Kansas. This guy, Diedrich Lawson, we've heard the hype. This hype is real. This guy, he can play. The ball was stolen, and he recovered. He looked to the right corner for the open three. Lawson, who led Memphis in scoring both years and rebounding both years he played at Memphis for changing coaches. Josh Pashner first and then Tubby Smith. And he said, I'm out of here. And then they changed over in Memphis with Penny. Garrett gets the free throw. How about this stat? In Lawrence's first 10 games, 197 points. Only two Kansas players in school history have had more. Wayne High Hightower is a very good player, yeah. 1960. And Wilt Chamberlain, who had 329 <laughs> in his first 10 games well, in 1957. That's why you always have to be careful when you say ever. Because you all, whatever the record is, and you're saying ever, check with what Wilt did. <laughs> and one of Wilt's teammates is here tonight. Yeah, Gary Thompson has spent two years with Wilt. Jerry Colangelo was there with Wilt. Edwards again, two big threes here in the final six minutes of action for the Devils. Okay, so Arizona State has somebody playing well. Mill Kim. This has got to be Remy Martin's job to find some shots for him. Garrett penetrates, wow. contact, a blocking foul. It looked like that's Dort was in the restricted area, and that's the reason for the call. That is the first on Dort in the 16 foul. Yeah, but common sense has to prevail. The guy's out of control coming down the lane. Right, but if you're Working. in the restricted area, both feet are inside yeah. that semicircle, yeah, it's going to be a blocking has... foul. He's clearly in the restricted area. That's the rule. 
Garrett misses the first. Kansas' first miss of the night at the free throw line. Three-point lead for the Jayhawks. Poise, confidence, leadership from the bench. Bill Self, who has more conference titles in his 16 years. Oh, turnover here. Sun Devils. Great play by Garrett on the other end. He missed the layup. Talked about Kansas having poise. Arizona State has to show some poise and also make some free throws down the stretch here. Trailing by three against the number one team in the land. Bill Self has more conference titles than he has home losses in his 16 years. Martin, no good on the three. Up oh, high is Garrett Dort. Edwards for the tie. No. Look and at Dotson the, cleared. The defensive balance and positioning and rotation by the Jayhawks tore it up for the Jayhawks last year on their run to the Final Four. But the ability to make shots. I mean, the creativity, first of all, by Dobson, who has been superb in every aspect of the game tonight. As little a guy as there is in the game, with the exception of little Charlie Moore. But he epitomizes Devon Dotson what it means to be a giant. Four-point play for Gerald Vick, who's had four games this year, 27 points or more, two 30-point games. And the lead is back to seven for the Jayhawks on the road. Kansas is undefeated. That's what counts. When you're on a great team, stats mean nothing. Although Vic commits a foul there, that's the 17 foul. That's going to put Dort at the line. So let's see now if Arizona State can make some free throws. On the night, the Sun Devils shooting under 60% at the line. Poor Yudoko just dying to get in there. But please, be cautious, be safe, Yudoko. you got a long life. A long career ahead of you. He'll be back soon. Yeah. We hope. Dort gets the front end of the one and one. I love the way you predict other people's health. Well, I'm just telling you what the Kansas coaches <laughs> said that that's usually how it works. They give you information, you report it. Well, I understand that. But talk is cheap. Vision true. He's sitting on the bench. Dort gets both free throws. And I may be standing on the moon waiting for that next time when they have a solstice and the full moon going to be 2094 the next time. I'll be waiting a long time. Garrett gets past Dort, hangs, and he was fouled. A late whistle by Jerry Pollard, the referee, and they're going to call Cheatham for the foul. So one of the great adjustments that Bobby Hurley has made here is that he is making Marcus Garrett beat them. <laughs> Boy, I I thought that was a bad call just looking at that and so did Bobby Hurley which is a surprise he gets after the officials like good nobody's he's, business he's trying to build a program here and what they've got going here at the new American University is the future and if you're a young player and you're looking around for a place to go to build your life and chase your dreams like what better place you seen what they've done around here lately? Look, look Bobby's got the shirt out I think it's Arizona what? State University take his shirt off now actually Bill Self said to you today don't do that again because you did it at the Kansas game in Austin two years ago and Bill said just look, please don't do it look, tonight. I'm a San Diego Beach boy we get dressed in the parking lot yeah but we're indoors and this is uh, Arizona and it's a basketball game and you're I, working you're I, a professional I, I take my shirt off every day beautiful play Mello White back to a five-point game with four minutes to go here Arizona State trying to pull the upset which would be big for the program and for the Pac-12 Kansas 10-0, trying to get to 11-0 for the first time since 2011 when they started 18-0. Beautiful pass, Dotson. Vic, deep one, no. Dotson. Charlie Moore, nice play, kept it alive. And then Remy Martin. Boy, I, I thought Martin fouled Garrett that time, but it is a held ball, and it will go to the Sun Devil. That's why Marcus Garrett's got to pass the ball. You got these superstars like Vic and Lawson, Dotson. Grimes. Wow. The fight, the scrum for the ball. Play on. College basketball at its finest. That's a foul.
Booty, Majesty, the Magian Rim, and everybody having a great time outdoors. Kansas, though, leading. In history, though, Arizona State has had some success. Their biggest upsets over top five teams. They were number five when they beat Oregon State on the road by 20 behind 25 points from Byron Scott. Arizona State's only win against a number one team. This is only the second time they've hosted a number one. They lost to Arizona back in 2003. And in order for the Sun Devils to win this one, they've got to find a way to stop Diedrich Lawson, who has 28 points and 13 rebounds. We were here in 2014 when they beat number two Arizona. And of course, they won at number two Kansas in Lawrence last year. So Wichita State, that's back in the Joe Caldwell era. USC in uh, 71, they were top two in the country with UCLA. Great players in this history for Arizona State, but they've got to come up with a victory here tonight to keep these fans coming back. Here's Dort, and he was fouled by LeGerald Vick. That's the third on Vick, 18 foul Dort, who just made two free throws. will go back to the line for a one and one. He's three of 14 from the field, Dort, but he's done a lot of good in other areas. Four rebounds, five assists. Just a freshman, 19 years old. Look at the body on this guy. When I first met him this morning, I asked him if he was 30 years old. The shoulders and the biceps and the thickness of his chest. He's just 19. But when we speak of history, let's never forget that Kansas has the history. The most Hall of Famers of any school ever. They have 20 of them, including the guy that started the game of basketball 127 years ago. Yesterday was the birthday of basketball from 1891. It was 10 years ago. Kansas won its last national championship. Bill Self right now is tied with John Wooden. 35th all-time in wins. Three-point game with three and a half to go. And Bill Self wasn't happy initially with Kansas and how they started that offensive possession. They're trying to get it to Lawson on the low block. He's well covered by Romello White. Now Lawson facing up. Baseline cut off. Three ball. Wow. Way off by Grimes. And it looked like there was some contact on the perimeter as well by Arizona State, but no call. Please. Don't over officiate it. Let them play. There's not any dirty players out there. Does he get his wrist, though? That's a foul. You hit the wrist. That's a foul. It's a basketball game at the championship level. You're, you're playing on the road in front of the third biggest crowd in the history of the program. Remy Martin with the bucket, and it's a one-point game. Timeout, KU. One timeout left for the Jayhawks, two remaining for Arizona State. All right, so if you're Bill Self, what are you telling your team? Right now, Bill, this is their big, they've had some close games, but first true road game, so it's their biggest challenge yet as a number one team. They win close games. I mean, they're, they're tremendous at this, but don't take too much time off the clock. Don't think clock, think scoring points. Every possession, you gotta put points on the board. And then you got to get the ball to Diedrich Lawson down low early in the shot clock and then move around him. Don't just stand there and watch him because the defense is clamped down for the Sun Devils. Arizona State has not led. The only time the game was tied was when we tipped off two hours ago. Let's see out of the timeout where they go. Marcus Garrett has got to make quicker decisions. This game is being played at an extremely high level. They're going to let Lawson make the play, and he's called for calming. He turns it over. He's so yeah. good in the high post yeah. making decisions. It's a rare turnover for Deidre Lawson in that situation. It was great defense. And now Kansas just got to come back and make a defensive stop here. But who's going to create offensively for the Sun Devils? Edwards pulls up and buries a three to get the Devils the lead for the first time. Trey Holder loves it all, and this crowd, incredible. This is Pac-12 championship basketball. This is college basketball. Vic for Whoa, three, wild. not close. 
Oh, two Sun Devils collide. Yeah, but but Edwards the, able to save it. The two best players tonight, Dort and Edwards. Come back to Edwards. The guy's on fire. He's got three three-pointers, 13 points for the game. So why are they killing clock here? Edwards had just two points in the first half. Shot clock down to seven. Here's Dort nice. driving the lane. Muscles it up. No good, but he'll go to the line for two. And if that's on Lawson, that's four. They got Diedrich Lawson for the personal. Bill Self will keep him on the floor here. Oh, really? 36 to go, 28 points. Well, in offense, defense, you might take him out if Arizona State wasn't shooting free throws here if you for that possession. Play, if you can't play a minute 37, six seconds without fouling, what a crossover. As great and as important a skill in basketball as you can ever have, change of pace, change of direction. And you look at these Hall of Famers. That was Jason Kidd. That was Grant Hill. That was Joe Caldwell. That was Steve Nash. That's a big missed free throw. And Arizona State has now missed 11 foul shots in the game. Kansas has missed one. Dort has made six free throws tonight. That was his first miss. And he misses both. Kansas ball down two. This has to be the, the biggest game that Lou Dort has ever played in his oh, no Kansas with one timeout left. Again, Lawson being blanketed by White on the low block. They get it to Lawson. He catches, and he's fouled. Lawson's an excellent free throw shooter, hovering around 80%. He's excellent in everything. And what I love about Bill Self is he's decided here, just we're going to go super small. He's got Dotson. He's got Grimes. He's got Charlie Moore. Got the Gerald Vick still in there. Let's see if Lawson... He's got 28 points. Yep, calmly, despite the curtains of distraction, two of them going behind the stanchion. But when you're a champion-level player, you don't see anything beyond the perimeter of the court. That's in your face. Ties the game at 76. Lawson with 30 points. Timeout here for Bobby Hurley. And Bobby's going to milk this home crowd here. Get his guys in total control. The ability to create the atmosphere and then feed off of that. Great champion, Bobby Hurley, two-time at Duke. Uh, more basketball coming up. Yeah, North Carolina and Davidson next Saturday at noon. Carolina lost today by eight to Kentucky. Next week, Kentucky will play Louisville at 2 o'clock at ESPN2. Where was that Kentucky-North Carolina game? Where was that? It was in Chapel Hill today. Look at the remaining North Carolina lost teams. at home. Six unbeaten teams left. Michigan, and John John's. Beeline, that guy's fantastic. The bat is a real squad. St. John's, Chris Mullen, yeah, we love that. Who's on Houston? That's not still Akeem and Clyde, is it? No. Tony Bennett at Virginia. What a coach. What a leader. What a class act. Bill, this is the third largest crowd in Wells Fargo Arena history. Just under 14,600. What were the other two? Arizona State ball. Let's not worry about that. Let's talk about what Arizona State's going to do here on this possession. Turn the time on the shot clock. But don't wait. I mean, you've got to get the lead. Take the first good shot. And who's going to create it? Get the ball to Remy Martin. Spread the floor. Let him do something smart with it. And make a play for Rob Edwards. Here comes the screen by Edwards. Martin driving. Pull up jumper. Knocks it down. Tough shot. He buried it. Offensive foul, Kansas. With Gerald Vick. Picking up the foul is fourth. Kansas is excellent at executing that weave. But that dribble handoff, right call. Remy Martin just trying to play some defense, but Legerald Vick just ran him over. 10 team foul, but a player control foul, so no 
free throws for Arizona State, which might be a good thing the way they've shot them tonight. Quentin Missing Grimes 12. is a great defensive player. Just keep Dort in front of it. Shot clock at 15. Each time, a team with a timeout. Now the timer down at 10. Why doesn't Remy Martin have the ball? Dort off the screen. Shot clock at 6. Dort driving. And he's called for traveling. Lawson got out of the way. Didn't want to commit his fifth foul. And Dort lost his footing and turned it over. You will rarely see this call made. Okay, it's now it is tra it is traveling. Did he get his arm? Did Lawson no, actually no, no. get his, the arm of Dort? When he lands, his right foot is his pivot foot, and then he picks it back up. Technically, it's the right call. <laughs> but as a defensive player, you beg for the referee to make that call, and you rarely get it. Can't get any satisfaction. Timeout by Kansas. The last timeout for the Jayhawks. Sports Center is coming up. Following the Hawaii Bowl on ESPN with Bucci and Anderson, we'll recap both NFL games, look at the playoff implications, highlights from the Mavs Warriors game, Kentucky, North Carolina. We talked about that. The guys will have the highlights of that game. All right, so Kansas has possession, Bill. You're on the road. You're out of timeouts now. You, you go, go for, for a three. three. You, you hit it. They win it. Race out and don't leave it. Looks back. And it. Okay, we'll, we'll get to is fantastic. His movement without the ball, the step back three, these have been absolutely spectacular. But it's the creativity that allows the Sun Devils to have the lead right now. All right, Bill, you said for Kansas, go for the three. Do you well, get it in Diedrich Lawson's hands again in the high yes. post and allow him to make well, a decision on what to do. I want overtime. I want more. This has been fantastic. All right, but what, what does Bill Self want? You Bill Self wants to win the game. Right, so it's you much easier three. to win it at the buzzer than in overtime. So you are going to in the high post. I would get the ball in Dotson's hands and let him create. And if you can get Lawson with an opportunity down low, take that, yes. But they haven't been double teaming Lawson down there. They got Charlie Moore trying to bring it up. Dotson's away from the ball. For now, here comes Dotson. 13 seconds left. Dotson gives it up. Vic from the corner. Back to Dotson. Throws his hands into the backcourt. Over and back violation. It's Arizona State ball. And that's a break for Kansas there. Because Edwards, he had an opportunity there to keep going. And seal it, close the door. The pass goes right through Dotson's hands. It's a hard pass, but Dotson is good enough to catch that. Actually, I, I don't know that that touched Dotson, and then it went out of bounds off of Edwards. It so clearly did. I mean, Arizona State caught a break there because it didn't seem like Dotson touched the ball. Guys, can we see that replay again here? Because if that doesn't touch Dotson, it's not an over and back call. It was touched first, it appeared by Edwards, and then he kicks it out of bounds. Watch here. Did he touch it? It looked like they both touched it. Okay. They both touched it. I'd call that a backcourt violation. And that was the call. 6.9 left. They got to get it in bounds, and the foul comes. Arizona State did have a timeout, so Rob Edwards, who on the season hasn't missed, he's 8 for 8, will shoot 2. The injuries that have plagued this Sun Devil team and kept them from an even better start. Only two losses. Nevada, top 10 team. Vanderbilt at Vanderbilt. They're an excellent squad. This Arizona. guy's got one of those injuries that's kept him. And we'll see if but he's in the zone right now. Arizona State has never beaten the number one team in Tempe. Is it about to happen? If this free throw goes down, they will win. If it doesn't go down, foul them. Foul Kansas and put them on the line. It drops. Four-point lead. Let them score. Make them take time off the clock. History in the making. It's over. Number one goes down in Tempe.
Hey, we need some security For the out first here. time since 1981, and for the first time ever at home, Arizona State beats a number one. And they didn't lead until late for the first time and end up winning by four. What a game. What a night. You no matter what Bobby happens. Hurley and Arizona State and the Pac-12. Whatever happens, you can't storm the court. That decision is made before the game starts, please. Bobby Hurley gives Leslie, his wife, an incredible hug and a kiss. Bobby Hurley has been on top of the mountain before, and he's climbing his way back up. He is right there. What a night of basketball. And again, the way they fought through it, Bill, they shot under 30% in the first half, over 50% in the second half, and they made some big plays down the stretch they stopped in the paint. They stopped turning the ball over. They found a hot hand in Rob Edwards, whose threes, whose free throws, whose confidence. And when Kansas lost Diedrich Lawson, their momentum, their control evaporated like water sitting in a puddle on a desert highway. We'll get you to Sports Center. We'll be back to Wells Fargo Arena shortly after Arizona State upsets KU.